Do not judge me by my successes, judge me by how many times I fell down, and got back up again. It always seems impossible until it's done. Education is the most powerful weapon, which you can use to change the world. One cannot be prepared for something while secretly believing, it will not happen. What counts in life, is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others, that will determine the significance of the life we lead. Resentment is like drinking poison, and then hoping it will kill your enemies. For to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. There is nothing like returning to a place, that remains unchanged to find the ways, in which you yourself have altered. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom come responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. Lead from the back, and let others believe they are in front. I am not a saint, unless you think of a saint as a sinner, who keeps on trying. There is no passion to be found playing small, in settling for a life, that is less than the one you are capable of living. As I have said, the first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society, if you have not changed yourself. Everyone can rise above their circumstances, and achieve success if they are dedicated to, and passionate about what they do. It is said that no one truly knows a nation until one has been inside its jails. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Live life as though nobody is watching, and express yourself as though everyone is listening. I had no epiphany, no singular revelation, no moment of truth, but a steady accumulation of a thousand slights, a thousand indignities and a thousand unremembered moments produced in me an anger a rebelliousness, a desire to fight the system that imprisoned my people. There was no particular day on which I said, henceforth I will devote myself to the liberation of my people, instead, I simply found myself doing so, and could not do otherwise. I hate race discrimination most intensely, and in all its manifestations. I have fought it all during my life, I fight it now and will do so until the end of my days. Sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great, you can be that generation. Real leaders must be ready to sacrifice all for the freedom of their people. A fundamental concern for others in our individual and community lives, would go a long way in making the world the better place, we so passionately dreamt of. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. I like friends who have independent minds, because they tend to make you see problems from all angles. Many people in this country have paid the price before me, and many will pay the price after me. Money won't create success, the freedom to make it will. It is in the character of growth, that we should learn from both pleasant and unpleasant experiences. It is not our diversity which divides us, it is not our ethnicity, or religion, or culture that divides us. Since we have achieved our freedom, there can only be one division amongst us, between those who cherish democracy and those who do not. A critical, independent and investigative press, is the lifeblood of any democracy. The press must be free from state interference. It must have the economic strength to stand up to the blandishments of government officials. It must have sufficient independence from vested interests to be bold, and inquiring without fear or favor. It must enjoy the protection of the Constitution, so that it can protect our rights as citizens. When a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in, he has no choice but to become an outlaw. A good head and good heart are always a formidable combination. But when you add to that a literate tongue or pen, then you have something very special. I am fundamentally an optimist. Whether that comes from nature or nurture, I cannot say. 
Part of being optimistic is keeping one's head pointed toward the sun, one's feet moving forward. There were many dark moments when my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give myself up to despair. That way lays defeat and death. No one is born hating another person, because of the color of his skin, or his background, or his religion. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. I have walked that long road to freedom. I have tried not to falter, I have made missteps along the way. But I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom come responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. Overcoming poverty is not a task of charity, it is an act of justice. Like slavery and apartheid, poverty is not natural. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by the actions of human beings. Sometimes it falls on a generation to be great. You can be that great generation. Let your greatness blossom. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. A leader, God is like a shepherd. He stays behind the flock, letting the most nimble go out ahead, whereupon the others follow, not realizing that all along they are being directed from behind. I am the captain of my soul, may your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. A nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones, where you stand depends on where you sit. One of the things I learned, when I was negotiating was that until I changed myself, I could not change others. Appearances matter, and remember to smile. A good leader can engage in a debate frankly and thoroughly, knowing that at the end he and the other side must be closer, and thus emerge stronger. You don't have that idea when you are arrogant, superficial, and uninformed. There are times when a leader must move out ahead of the flock, go off in a new direction, confident that he is leading his people the right way. Without education, your children can never really meet the challenges they will face. So it's very important to give children education, and explain that they should play a role for their country. I dream of the realization of the unity of Africa, whereby its leaders combine in their efforts to solve the problems of this continent. I dream of our vast deserts, of our forests, of all our great wildernesses. There are so many men and women, who hold no distinctive positions, but whose contribution towards the development of society has been enormous. There are many people in South Africa, who are rich and who can share those riches with those not so fortunate, who have not been able to conquer poverty. Intervention only works, when the people concerned seem to be keen for peace. I detest racialism, because I regard it as a barbaric thing, whether it comes from a black man or a white man. After one has been in prison, it is the small things that one appreciates, being able to take a walk whenever one wants, going into a shop and buying a newspaper, speaking or choosing to remain silent. The simple act of being able to control one's person. Communists have always played an active role in the fight by colonial countries for their freedom, because the short-term objects of communism would always correspond with the long-term objects of freedom movements. I have retired, but if there's anything that would kill me it is to wake up in the morning, not knowing what to do. Let each know that for each the body, the mind and the soul, have been freed to fulfill themselves. I cannot say for certain, if there is such a thing as love at first sight, but I do know that the moment I first glimpsed Winnie Namzamo, I knew that I wanted to have her as my wife. We can't afford to be killing one another. I am confident that nobody. 
will accuse me of selfishness if I ask to spend time, while I am still in good health, with my family, my friends, and also with myself. I would wear the blue overalls of the field worker, and often wore round, rimless glasses known as Mazawadi tea glasses. I had a car, and I wore a chauffeur's cap with my overalls. The pose of chauffeur was convenient, because I could travel under the pretext of driving my master's car. Sabotage did not involve loss of life, and it offered the best hope for future race relations. Bitterness would be kept to a minimum, and, if the policy bore fruit, democratic government could become a reality. By ancestry, I was born to rule. I started to make a study of the art of war and revolution and, whilst abroad, underwent a course in military training. If there was to be guerrilla warfare, I wanted to be able to stand, and fight with my people, and to share the hazards of war with them. Especially for those of us who lived in single cells, you had the time to sit down and think, and we discovered that sitting down just to think, is one of the best ways of keeping yourself fresh and able, to be able to address the problems facing you, and you had the opportunity, also, of examining your past. Our single most important challenge, is therefore to help establish a social order in which the freedom of the individual, will truly mean the freedom of the individual. Prison life, fortunately, I spent a lot of years, about 18 years with other prisoners, and, as I say, they enriched your soul. At the outset, I want to say that, the suggestion that the struggle in South Africa is under the influence of foreigners or communists, is wholly incorrect. I have done whatever I did, because of my experience in South Africa and my own proudly felt African background, and not because of what any outsider might have said.